wedding in July, Kyle and I ventured off to South Africa for our honeymoon, and it was absolutely unforgettable. We started our trip with a safari in the iconic Kruger National Park, and let me just tell you, it gave us some of the most amazing encounters with some of the world's most magnificent animals. I mean, witnessing the raw beauty of that nature just left such a mark on my heart. I will never forget how beautiful that whole experience was. We had two safaris a day, and we were just treated to absolute breathtaking displays of wildlife. And as an animal lover, this was an experience that just left me in absolute awe each and every day. Well, hello from South Africa. For those who don't know, yes, I am on my honeymoon. <laughs> and also, let me just first and foremost say, I am so lucky to have married someone who not only was so down to have a honeymoon in South Africa in the first place, but is just like equally as excited as I am with all of these safaris. And it has just been absolute magic so far. Kyla's taking a nap. I just woke up from one. But for the portion of this trip, we're staying at Jock Safari Lodge and it has just been absolutely amazing. We've already done two two safaris. We did one immediately yesterday whenever we got in and that was a night drive which we're about to do our second one here in a little bit and then this morning we got up at 5 30 in the morning which honestly I don't know what that translates to in like in LA time or um, in the States, but it felt early regardless. <laughs> We're located in Kruger National Park and it's just fascinating to listen to our guide talk about the animals, how to find them. He was teaching us all about their tracks. He was picking up their poop and talking about like what it means and explaining how white rhinos use that as, a, as like a cue for mating. It, it's just, it's so fascinating. Clearly I'm leaning into the um, attire here. I got this at the gift shop. <laughs> oh yeah, check out this bling. By the way, this is my, my, well, it, hello, focus. This is my wedding band with my engagement ring. Yeah. I don't know, maybe you'll see that in a different video before I'm posting this one, but I'll share it in this one. We actually saw three white rhinos last night and it was so cool. And they had been dehorned like earlier that day. And I didn't realize this, but apparently um, a lot of the rhinos end up being dehorned as a prevention measure because they don't want the rhinos obviously to be killed by poachers who would take their horns. So while it obviously is sad that you are altering the natural state of the animal and up protecting them um which i just i thought was like so fascinating and i am just absolutely in awe like i have never been this over the moon ever let me give you a little tour of our outdoor area here um because behind me behind me uh, is where uh, uh, four lions just were like right like uh, like on our balcony essentially there was also a herd of buffalo it's just been absolute magic and where i'm filming this right now is actually where the outdoor bed is which oh my goodness we wanted to sleep outside so badly which they can do if we ask them to just set the bed up with some sheets right now it just has some pillows on it that are decorative and originally we really wanted to but at night it gets really cold like this morning on our morning safari it was super super chilly so like if we visited in their summertime which is January February we would have absolutely opted into that but because it's July which is their winter time at night it gets quite cold but right now it's warm it, it kind of reminds me of desert weather where during the day it's quite quite warm outside but at night you need layers like layers layers especially on the safari drives because there's so much wind in your face but yeah let me give you a little a little tour of um of the outside of our villa okay so let me just show you our view first and foremost if you look really closely you can see some elephant poop right there but this is our view and like i was saying there were just a whole herd of buffalo and also four lions that were right outside of our place and if you're wondering yes there is an electric fence don't worry it's right right there right there <laughs> so it is incredibly incredibly safe but you get to see wildlife just right outside of your area then here is the amazing outdoor bed that i was just telling you about it's not made except for the decorative pillows but it has this huge netting over it of course um to prevent any kind of bugs or mosquitoes getting to you but even just during the day this has been so nice to lounge on and you can just look at the wildlife right there it's crazy and then we have this little little walkway up here there are two lounges and then we have a plunge pool a little personal plunge pool it looks like a jacuzzi, but none of it's heated. It's just, just a plunge pool right here, which is so sweet. And again, all of this has that same beautiful 
beautiful view and then a little breakfast nook here and my favorite part this outdoor bath are you kidding me i think we're gonna use this tonight but um this is so cool it's just an outdoor bath which is amazing so we are just so over the moon like i was saying it's been such such an amazing honeymoon so far and if you look really closely and quietly you can see a sleeping kyle in the wild a napping kyle boy it's a male looks like he recently made it wildlife is so fascinating <laughs> anyway yeah i have just you know it's been such an amazing trip so far i highly encourage anyone if it's in your means to come here do it let this be your sign to do it i'm just i'm having the time of my life with that said i think we only have about 10 or 15 minutes until we have to get ready for the night safari so uh, i need to charge you camera you i need to charge you yeah I'm gonna go get some coffee in my system and that's all. Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit The sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away For you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream I was genuinely so sad to leave the wilderness behind, but after Kruger, we ventured into the vibrant heart of Cape Town, and this city's energy was infectious. It was infused with history. It really allowed for us to immerse ourselves in the local culture. And then there was Table Mountain. We took this cable car ride up to the summit, and those panoramic views just left us breathless. It was like standing on top of the world with the love of my life by my side. The final leg of our honeymoon was spent for a few days in the quaint little village of Franschok, which is nestled in the heart of South Africa's wine country. We had a full day of wine tasting scheduled, but one of our stops was a surprise that had nothing to do with wine whatsoever. Our tour guide took us on a little detour to meet a famous painting pig, also known as Pigasso. This talented pig lives on a farm sanctuary and meeting Pigasso, it was an experience that we will cherish forever. We even purchased a little print as a souvenir. As I so sadly had to say goodbye, one thing was certain. Our honeymoon wasn't just a vacation, it was a treasure trove of memories that have taken a permanent residence in our hearts. The country's incredible wildlife rich landscapes to its culturally vibrant cities and artistic gyms all have left an incredible mark in our hearts and the warmth and hospitality of the people we met along the way only added to the beauty of our journey. Reflecting on our honeymoon in South Africa, it's undeniable that each moment was nothing short of magical. My mind was occupied. 